When we fall in love and commit to a relationship, we know it's gonna have its ups and downs. We know it's not gonna be perfect. Yet when problems and arguments come around, we can feel frustrated and resentful. The main problem with love is that it gives us the illusion that we are the same, but we are not. Love seems to translate into this expectation that we should be able to understand each other because there is love. If there is an expectation, then it is one where love does not make us more understanding, more loving, or can communicate better. If there is one thing that love does, is that it makes us try. And this is where most of us run into problems in our relationships. We think someone is not trying because we're basing the effort on what we define trying is. So someone can be trying extremely hard, but it doesn't look like they're trying because they're not trying in a way that we can understand. Oftentimes, people cannot try harder at something they really have no skill in. For example, if I don't know how to bounce a ball, you won't ever see me shooting hoops, even if I go to the basketball court every single day with a ball in my hand. So all you can see is I'm not even trying to shoot, but I don't know how, so I can't try harder at shooting. All I can do is try harder at turning up at the basketball court every single day and just stand there even when it rains. If we really want our partner to have a better understanding of our values, of how we would like to be loved, or to communicate in a certain way, we must allow for them to learn it. Instead of feeling frustrated that they don't already know it, that if they love us, they would and should know. When we have problems in our relationships, it is important to examine what is the root of the problem. Is it because my partner is constantly putting me down? Is it because my partner is so disillusioned and unhappy with his own life that he takes it out on me? Is it because my partner abuses me? If it is, then the hurt in the relationship is the hurt that was intentionally inflicted and it's absolutely crucial that we exit the relationship even if there is love. If we can see that the intention wasn't hurt or neglect, but simply because you both are so different in some aspects, then it will be clear that there are only two options, to continue the relationship or to part ways. Either way, we understand that our partner is not the source nor the cause of our unhappiness, and that will help us let go of frustration and resentment to work on the relationship if we want to, and it will help us be happy always.